One Cannondale's key guiding principles is our philosophy of system integration, where we design frames and components specifically to work together to develop a holistic, complete performance package, rather than designing a frame and hanging it with a bunch of other people's parts. There's probably no better example of that than this piece right here, BB30. So every year our engineers were killing themselves to make lighter and lighter frames and it, it, it drives them crazy to make these small gains in the weight of the frame but then have to hang these relatively heavy old parts on it. So uh, back in 2000 our engineers took a leap of faith and said there's a way that we can make a better crank and bottom bracket and the way that we do that is by oversizing the spindle uh, and making it out of aluminum so you end up with a lighter, stiffer package. bottom bracket interface on bicycles hasn't changed for a hundred years, so what do we do next? How do we improve this system? That was a fantastic opportunity, and really I looked at all the dimensions from bottom bracket spindles, um, from 17 millimetres all the way through to 40 millimetres, all the different materials, steel, aluminium, carbon fibre, titanium, magnesium, all the options for the whole system with bearings and bottom bracket shields and bottom bracket shell and everything. And the result of the analysis was 30 millimetres with an aluminium bottom bracket spindle was absolutely the best system weight, system stiffness. One of the essences of the BB30 system is its simplicity. In order to make the lighter system, you want to eliminate any redundant parts, any unnecessary overlap, really distill it down to the utmost simplicity so that every single part is doing its job. The advantages of BB30, one, is that we're replacing heavy steel with lightweight aluminum, so you save a lot of weight. So right there, less weight to haul around, haul up hills, making you a faster rider. Next is that it's stiffer. Because it's oversized, it's not only more resistant to bending, but more importantly, it's resistant to twisting, which is where a lot of power is lost in traditional crank sets. Because of this 30 millimeter oversized spindle design, there is less twist in the spindle when you're putting power to the cranks. Less flex means more power for you. We knew it was a better system, we created it, and then we released the standard to the industry so that anyone could use it. And we basically had faith that it would be adopted and uh, that's exactly what we've seen happen. So we created a new standard, pushed the entire industry forward, and uh, made things better for cyclists everywhere.